with 60 US 15 devices. The list of the models that support the jailbreak are listed on the screen. So you can see that iPhone 6s to iPhone X are supported and in the iPod, iPod Touch 7 generation and in the iPad you see iPad Air 2 and goes up to the iPad Pro 2nd generation. But in the bypass there are some modifications. If you look for the iPhones or iPad, the supported model list is same. But if you check out the iPad, only the cellular model iPads are supported with this process of the bypass. You can do the jailbreak on the Wi-Fi model but for the Wi-Fi model this bypass will not work. Only supported by the cellular iPad models and the respected iPhone. So just check out all the complete supported model list and after that you can proceed further. So first you need to download this zip file. You will get this file on my blog or check out the description blog link. After you download you need to first extract it. You can use Finra. Next you will get some files and also the ISO file. Just open the Rufus tool. Now take the USB flash drive. Insert it. Select it from the list. Now import the ISO file or drag and drop. Next select your partition scheme and click on flash. Now just wait for it to get complete and if you want more detailed video on the jailbreak just check out my this video. Recently I made the complete video on this. So if you want to watch that just check out the description now once the flash is done just restart your pc go to your bios settings and select the usb you want to boot it from or you can change your boot priority and make the usb to the first one and also make sure that the secure boot option from the bios is turned off once you boot the usb you will see this kind of interface just wait for a few seconds and after that you will see the custom pelerin jailbreak for ios 17 windows you will also get some usb max t warning on the screen so just ignore that that will not make any difference in the process now next connect your iDevice. for now i'm using the ipad at 6th generation, it's the cellular model and it's working on the latest iOS 17.3 or 17.2. So make sure your device is supported. I've already shown you the supported model list in the starting. Once you connect the device, it will ask you to trust it. And next, just proceed further. Reconnect your device if it asks for. And then you will see it will directly go into the recovery mode. Next, follow the instruction on the screen. Press on enter and now you need to put your device into the DFU mode. Now once it detects the TFU mode, it will start jailbreaking the device and you will see the Pongo OS and the check -in loading on your IT device. Now just wait for it to get complete, it will not take much time. And if you see any error, just try the process again or if you want to manually DFU device, you can do that. Now once the chill break done, your iPad or your iDevice, whether it's iPhone or iPad or iPod, it will turn it on automatically and that means the chill break is done. Now on the terminal, you can click on the control C to quit the terminal and type the reboot command and hit on enter and after that your laptop will be reboot and you can just go to the Windows machine again. You can also open the 3U tools to confirm the jailbreak is done or not. So now you can see the jailbreak show yes. That means we have successfully jailbreak our device. Now next we can proceed for the bypass. Now for the bypass we will use the latest version of Byte Emit tool 1.5. You will get this tool for free from the description or go to my blog link. You will get everything there. Once you have downloaded you can first extract it. And also check out the supported model list. For the iPads only the cellular models are supported. And for the iPhones you can check out on the list. Next run the exe file. Now connect your iDevice again and you will see it start detected by the tool and you will see the activation status is unactivate and jailbroken is yes that means the jailbreak is done. So now we, next we have to register the serial number that is completely free. So just copy your serial number and go to this website. I will just give this website registration link on my blog so you can directly go from there. Our tool will detect and show you your device is not registered and open the registration page automatically. Next paste the serial number and click on register. Your serial number is successfully registered. Go back reconnect your device and this time you can just click on the start bypass and just wait for it to get complete. So now you can see that the bypass is done and tool show you the success message and your iPad will take a reboot. Now you can disconnect your device. So now you can see we directly on our iPad home screen that means the bypass is done. Let me just show you from the settings. Let me just connect the Wi-Fi and you can see that there is no app ID bound in the setting so the bypass is done. Now as I mentioned in the starting, this is the unheaded bypass. So let me just show you the reboot and it will not lock again. So now you can see that the iPad is on again and the bypass is completely untethered. Now this bypass also supports some iServices that includes your iCloud login, Siri, App Store. You can use that but some may not work. So let me just show you one by one. So first try the iCloud login. So now you can see that the iCloud login is perfectly working. Next try the App Store. 
So App Store is also working. And now let's try out Siri. Hey Siri, open the Safari. So now you can see Siri is also working well. And as I mentioned, some eye services will not work. Like the FaceTime will not work. You can try it on your device. But for me, it's not working. Press other things will work normally. And also it's in free method. So the cellular iPad also supports your SIM card, cellular data. But in the free way, the cellular data or SIM card will not work. But it's still, it's a good option in a free way. You will get so many things and you can use your iPad normally on the Wi-Fi mode. But some...